Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Three very important skin warning signs of insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a real pandemic. Millions and millions of people out there have insulin resistance and it is of course the precursor to type 2 diabetes. Often insulin resistance will be present for many, many years or even decades before type 2 diabetes is officially diagnosed. But during that time, a lot of damage is done to one's body. There are lots of biological and physiological processes that go into insulin resistance, processes like de novo lipogenesis that we will talk about in future videos. But essentially, remember that insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes are illnesses of too much insulin, the body becomes overwhelmed, and then insulin resistance occurs. So let's talk about these three warning skin signs. Number one, skin tags. These commonly occur in skin folds. There's lots of debate as to why they occur, whether it's because of friction, whether it's because of skin overgrowth, because insulin is an anabolic hormone. But one of the most common responses of any doctor when they look at skin tags is, oh, let's refer you to a specialist, a dermatologist, or a surgeon to get them whipped off without addressing the true underlying cause, which is frequently insulin resistance syndrome. Number two, acanthosis nigricans. This is darkened skin, it is thickened skin, often described as having a velvety texture. This also occurs commonly in skin folds, so in the armpits, on the neck, or the groin, and it's more common in people with a darker skin pigmentation. But it is a really important warning sign of insulin resistance. Number three, generalized hair loss, thinning, and balding. Of course, this is a very common problem in society, but most people don't know that it is frequently caused by insulin resistance. And if this is reversed, which it can be, then the hair can grow back thicker and more vigorously. There are lots of other skin findings in insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, such as a more general higher risk of infection, infections such as cellulitis of the skin, boils, abscesses, because we know that having high blood sugar is absolutely devastating for the immune system. So there's a higher rate of infections and infections take longer to heal. Dry, itchy skin, that is another one. And also dark brown spots on the skin known as diabetic dermopathy. So needless to say that insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes wreak absolute havoc on the skin. But the good news is that this is nearly always reversible. As it pertains to insulin resistance as a precursor to type 2 diabetes, this can easily be reversed and these skin findings can go away in many, many instances. It's all about diet and lifestyle. Thanks everybody for listening. If you have these skin findings or you know anyone else who does, please do go get a medical evaluation for insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Get the appropriate tests and workup. Dr. Sunil Dand, do subscribe for more similar videos on my Real Medicine and Health Science channel and we will talk again very soon.